Well, thanks for jumping back once again into the Crypto Boy channel. I welcome you all to the channel. So, before we begin the video, make sure you jump into this description and you click this link and join our crypto community, which is the most profitable community here. And then you subscribe the channel and make sure you turn on the notifications. So, talking about the community, I want you to see that we are doing good in the community and we are helping each other solving each of the problems as you can see here so don't forget to join the community just by clicking the link in the description so today we are going to talk about the solana i have posted about a poll on my youtube channel post community post and i asked you guys that which coin do you want me to analyze next in my video and to my surprise it was the solana that has won the poll so because you you won the poll democratically so i am gonna post about the solana so as explained in my previous video i told you that about this divergence that let me just clear that about this divergence this one that was happening on uh, 4th June let's say and today we have 5th June that was yesterday so yesterday video and the video in the previous day I explained this stuff that this is a very strong bullish sign even though the it was we were there at that time and I told you that I would want Solana to come here if I have to take an entry in Solana so those who listened very carefully they would have taken an entry at this place exactly and that that is a good exit at that point because this is a stiff resistance as you see in the past you see here there was a support now we're just going back for confirmation so just pray that this thing does not convert into the resistance and becomes broken let's say if this thing hops above this thing it hops above that would be a good sign it might come back and form this structure and then we can go like kaboom but if it does not happen what is gonna happen you know that I have told you in a video didn't I let me tell you again so if that is not gonna happen if it does not break the structure what is going to happen is that this inverse cup and handle structure that formed on this board is going to come, come in play and that has the exact target of this $22. So that is not something which any of us would want to Solana to be coming at this place. That is like, that is too discounted I would say but discounted for the new players that had to come in but for the old people who had bought this thing somewhere around 120 and 112 that for them it would be let's say a bad experience so I really don't want to have that kind of experience for those people anyways so looking into the current scenario what do what, what we can accept expect is that it has already created this this huge divergence as well and this is a double bottom on RSI as well that is uh, momentically if talking about the momentum it, it is a good sign for the Solana coin however the the concern that remains is this exact exact place where it broke down what if this place is a resistance is converted to resistance and you get rejected from there what could happen possibly well, my, I mean it could happen like it, you can go back on onto this trend line and that will be your next support level and if you break it you know what's gonna happen you're gonna jump to the $22 level so that's the opposite case I'm talking about from a previous signal let's just calculate how much did we make from, from this place no, that's a beautiful 12% move. That's a big, 
big 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 number 12 percent is a big number uh, you not you don't you do not get such numbers in the the financial markets in other markets commodities that's that's the beauty of crypto you just analyze this coin one day and the ne next day you're gonna make 12 percent on your investment so those who watched our video and did exactly that uh, they were supposed to do at this place so one two three Let's say if this is a correction wave, so A, B, C, D. Yeah, there are chances that something could happen like here as well. It could form another, I would say, uh, divergence, one more divergence. Even though it has already made some divergences, uh, let me just check the MACD as well. So there you go. You see on the MACD as well. We have almost the same divergence that we having on the other part. So this is what I'm talking about. This thing, this exact point. That is a complete beautiful divergence. I'm very good at trading divergence. I I never want to miss them. Even talking about this one, you see these. They are very good indicators. You see this one as well. It's going up, price is going up. The indicator, MACD, is going down. It indicated the momentum, and then you see you came back, boom, till there. So, this is how the divergence play. And by the way, I have almost completed the recording of 10 lectures of my technical analysis course just 10 more lectures to go and soon I will upload it in somewhere like maybe YouTube you know I mean that will be free of course don't worry don't worry I'm not gonna charge for that okay so talking about the above line that line would stay intact I would say just a little bit extended so that we would not have to change it every time so if this thing goes there at $44 and you get a break on that I mean I mean I would expect you, you should take an entry at this place also like if you get it above and you get a retest and Bitcoin is doing fine it does not mess up that is a bullish sign that's completely bullish uh, what if we open the MACD again let's see for a bigger divergence do we have a big one like something like really really big let's go to one day well it hasn't formed like the way I would want it to form but if you see in a really really bigger picture A really really big picture then I might say that this is a divergence as well this one no I just don't say that word that I'm just talking about the divergence is only and there's nothing else I'm ignoring there will be a time you will not see these divergences they only occur at at the reversal reversal times they are very rare things but they are common when it rains when it rains like this and the market has to go back up the you see a lot of them but un, when the market is fine everything's going well you don't get to see them because they are very strong indicators okay so you see this we have on a bigger picture as well the big divergence so i would want this place to be somehow like go 25 35 percent in exactly at the current price level 39 dollars and wait for something like DCA 22 dollars if the Bitcoin behaves or not doesn't behave you can get a DCA on the low levels as well and if it behaves you already have an entry you can make good money out of 25 percent only 
So well that was it for the Solana. If you like the video please make sure you subscribe the channel and you leave down a comment. See you in the next video.